What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I uh, wanted to give you guys a statue display update, some sales updates, adding a few new items up for sale. Uh, so one thing you'll notice I moved Lord of Darkness. I switched him and the Gremlins uh, Mohawk. Uh, I, I really like Lord of Darkness near Reaper. I don't know the color, the size. I, I just think it looks better than having the Gremlin Mohawk here. And in addition by doing this, uh, it will give me more space for Sauron by Prime 1, which, you know, is shipping here in the next few months. You know, because the Mohawk Gremlin was going on to that one, where he doesn't, uh, not nearly as wide. And I, I, I just think the color palette looks really good, having the red, you know, dragon, uh, devil there. So, uh, but I did want to throw up my Prime 1 Sauron up for sale. Uh, so, do note that this did arrive to me with a damaged leg. You can see right there, I glued it. I probably could have did a better glue job, uh, but so this may or may not arrive to you with that damaged leg again. If it is, you just gotta glue it. So I won't compensate you if that exact part breaks again. If something else breaks, you know, we can file a UPS claim because it will be fully insured. Uh, but this is custom painted. Uh, it was painted by the guy that sold it to me, and this was like six years ago, so I don't remember who it was. But he did a phenomenal job. It looks amazing. Way better than Sideshow's original one. Uh, so, you know, due to the custom paint that sort of compensates for the broken leg, which you could get repaired probably for $100. Uh, so we're going to sell this for $1,000 shipped, uh, which is... Sort of a slightly cheaper going rate for the Sideshow one. So I think that's a great deal. Uh, I know Prime 1 is about $1,700 with shipping. So for $700 cheaper, you can get Sideshow's uh, Sauron that's custom painted. Uh, just has a broken leg. That's the only flaw. Uh, but like I said, you could get it repaired. I could even direct you to repair ours. Or if you don't mind it like me, you keep it as is. So $1,000 shipped USA. We're also going to throw my Khaleesi bust up for sale. Uh, I want to get Jon Snow and or Infinity Studios Khaleesi bust when that inevitably comes out. So I recently moved her over here and she actually got damaged in the process. Her base is made of a very thin plastic and the bottom part of the base uh, actually broke. Uh, just picking it up, it broke. It couldn't support its own self. Uh, and when it broke, uh, she fell over because you know I was holding the bottom of the base and it broke on me so basically this dragon right here that normally goes on her shoulder the legs broke uh, so that's the damage plus the base of course so the pegs that the little dragon goes into into her broke off and so I tried gluing the pegs back onto the dragon could never get it to work so I ended up just gluing the dragon to that uh, dragon egg uh, as you see so, uh, there is, I will obviously sell this discounted uh, to compensate for this fact, but you can get replacement legs and replacement base from the manufacturer. I've already contacted them. And they said they'll charge 200 bucks shipped to get replacement legs and a sturdier uh, base. So due to that, I'm gonna discount this uh, because of that. Uh, so if you wanna get it completely mint, just contact them. I'll give you their contact info. You could buy it from them. Uh, I'm not including my dragon eggs. I do want to keep those to display next to my Khaleesi. So if you want the dragon eggs, I can tell you how to get them. They are, you know, I think 50 bucks each. So we're just selling the Khaleesi. Uh, that dragon can stand on its own on the ground. So if you just want to display it next to her and you don't want to fix it, or you can glue it on something like I did, uh, that is an option. But actually does just stand on its own because of the tail. It could just stand on the ground, just your wire. Uh, but this bus normally goes retail $2,100. Uh, and I'm actually just going to sell it for $750 shipped. I think that's an absolute still of a deal. It is silicone. And I have a custom necklace, although uh, that won't fit in the box. So if you want that, you're going to have to pay extra for that. That cost me like 50 bucks. But and there is the holes. They're very hard to see. But glass eye, silicone skin, three dragons, but this one uh, is currently glued to an egg right now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that necklace. Uh, if you want it, you can buy it off me, but I, otherwise I'll just keep it. So for someone just the bus without the necklace, 750 shipped, retail is 2100 plus shipping. 
and it's limited, I think, to 35. Uh, so, uh, another update here, you can see Red Sonia next to the Gremlins. Now, I wouldn't say they pair well together by any means. Uh, you know, in all honesty, Red Sonia is a little out of place right here. I could absolutely put, for example, you know, just Gizmo, ECC Gizmo right there. I could put Wolf Predator life-size bust right there. I could put Ghost Face there and Leather Face there. I think that would look sick. You know, there's multiple options. I don't think she necessarily fits, so I'm trying to come up with a different area to put her. Uh, I'm just not sure where else I could, and I definitely don't want to sell her because she is an extremely good statue. Uh, so, if any of you guys have any tips on where I could put Red Sonia, feel free to throw a comment down below. Keep in mind, she's 40 inches tall to the top of that sword. Uh, so, very hard to display. Although, I really like the Mohawk Gremlin here in the corner. I feel like he definitely looks better than when I put Lord of Darkness over here. I did not like Lord of Darkness. It felt too empty in this display. And so Gremlins definitely fills a much bigger gap. And then having his thing like that and that. I do need to put something here. I'm trying to figure it out. I thought I could do a giant whore poster that has like every whore icon on it. Uh, that looks pretty cool. It's like 16 by 40 inches. This is where I'm preparing space for Leatherface one third, uh, which I'm 99.9% .9 buying. I've seen the portrait, it looks amazing. Uh, as soon as we get some picks and pricing and everything, I will make a preview video on that for you guys and also a link to order it. Uh, but definitely going to be a pickup for me. Ghost faces, uh, maybe, probably not. I don't know. I feel like that's all I need for screen. So let's uh, go over here because you'll notice that Goro was missing and I'm going to show you what happened to him. You know, I know a lot of you have commented, Goro's out of place, he needs to be with MK, and you are right, he does need to be. I've just been trying to come up with ideas, and this is what I've come up with, like this. So, we removed the Detolf, and put a half Detolf instead, uh, with just Ermac inside, Goro's COA, the metal MK logo, the movie, and Goro as like a giant centerpiece to the MK, so he's in between MKX and MK9. No, so this is all MK9. And then Goro is the transition into MKX. So we basically had to do Quan Chi in the middle, Kotokan behind. So this does pose a few tiny problems, I would say. It's not as clean as it was before. You know, having Kotokan and Quan Chi in this display, it's not as clean. I liked it better, honestly, when they weren't there, when it was just the Scorpion MK11 mask and nothing right there. Because having Quan Chi here, especially because of his depth, I have to angle my laptop like this now, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I definitely like Goro there. It even makes the room feel just a slightly bit more open because of the Detolf isn't, you know, it's Detolfs are so high. Uh, so I do really like Goro there. I'm still figuring out Kotokan and Quan Chi. I know I can fit them inside a Stuva and take up an entire Stuva, one bottom, one top, uh, which takes up a lot of space. So if I had to do them, they would have to go right there and then scoot that down and find space for some of the other video game statues. So, yeah, I may just keep them like this. I don't know. You, you guys tell me, what do you think of this? Some of my buddies say yes. Some of them say no. Uh, it's a kind of a difficult one for sure. I mean, we could potentially just move Quan Chi, but... I, if you're going to move him, you got to move Kotal. I don't know. I, I I mean, I do like it, but I think I preferred it when it was just Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I'm going to leave it like this for now and think it over, but I do like Goro here. I think he looks beastly, like absolute beastly, and a great centerpiece to Mortal Kombat display. So, yeah, that definitely looks really, really cool. So, we'll figure out... Uh, Quan Chi, though, I do have some ideas on how I can do it, but I'm figuring that out as we go. So, again, uh, for any new viewers, I am selling this MRC Goku vs. Vegeta original run, mint condition, working lights, $750 shipped, USA. That is the price of what the recasts go for. 
HMO Dante, $600 shipped USA. This is a massive, heavy, heavy, like 50 pound statue. So those two are for sale. And we also got to talk about one last piece that's up for sale. Just want to get it sold. I finally sold my Cool Props bust. Got that shipped out today. Uh, but we still do have Iron Man half scale for sale. 1700 shipped. Uh, I do have a few potential buyers right now. Uh, however, nobody's paid. But Iron Man half scale by Sideshow Collectibles. Custom COA, custom arc reactor, working lights, original box, 1700 shipped in the US. Uh, massive heavy box. Uh, and so, yeah, that is basically uh, what's for sale right now and what the collection has been going through. I've been trying a few different things, uh, but. I do like switching Lord of Darkness and Gremlins. I do like that, but I still feel like Red Sonia could be somewhere better. Although, moving her does pose quite the difficult task. And she is not one that's going to go for sale because I absolutely love that piece. It's one of the best one thirds I own. Anyways, folks, that is it. Uh, please drop a like and a comment uh, below. Uh, if you are looking to buy any statues, please use the links below to help the channel. Hope you enjoy this video. Have a great day.